Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well as we're all still kind of cooped up in our homes. It would have been great if we could have been actually together in person this month, but that's not to be. So I'm at least thankful that we have technology that allows us to connect. The theme for JAM this month is how to be hospitable and encouraging in a time of social distancing. Now both encourage and hospitality are spiritual gifts, which means that they are supernatural endowments that we are given at salvation and we are to use for the common good. Not all of us have them, but we are all called to do these two things. But how do we do that when we're not allowed to be with other people? So as I started praying about that, God actually sent me in a very unexpected direction within. Now, not within myself, but within our homes and our families. Let me ask you this question. Is anybody getting a little frustrated with the people that we're with all the time, our husband and our kids, because we've been in close quarters for weeks on end and we have no idea when that's going to be lifted? Does that sometimes lead us to have an attitude we shouldn't or not be as kind as we know we're supposed to be? Now, it's completely understandable in this difficult season, and yet we all know that it's not okay, but what do we do about it? Since hospitality literally means the love of strangers, we're going to put that one off for our fourth segment. Yes, there's going to be four parts to this series, because as I was, God was leading me through his word in it, it, it got kind of long, and I don't want any of them to be overwhelming. So we will deal with that later. But right now, we're going to deal with how we can encourage each other. And I'm suggesting that the blessing that comes with being an intentional about encouraging those in our home is something beyond what we can really even imagine. Now, you might be thinking, seriously, in this time where I have a hundred things to do, now I have to add one more? Or maybe you're at the other end of the spectrum and you're kind of bored and you're sort of looking for things to do, but not something that's calling you to reach out to the people that you're kind of trying to distance from a little bit. And yet, Proverbs 11.25 tells us this. A generous man will prosper. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. And this ties in with an even more familiar verse that's found in Acts 20, verse 35. It is more blessed to give than to receive. We tend to think about this in terms of gifts, in terms of tangible things, but it also applies to encouragement. Think about it. When we thank our husbands for doing something, or maybe we take it a step further and actually tell them that they did a great job, we can often see that they're pleased. And that can bring us a measure of joy. It's the same with our kids. As we build them up, it feeds their soul, it models how we want them to act towards others, and it can even improve their behavior because it lightens their mood, and that can lighten our homes tremendously. But why is encouragement impactful and also necessary? We're going to tackle that in our second segment. So let's take time to encourage those inside and outside of our homes and see how God blesses. <music> 